welcome back to my channel tech and art hope you guys are doing good today we will learn how to restore master database okay so i would request to each and everyone please watch the complete video okay and who are newly joined on channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share if you want to give the you know contribution of youtube thanks you can give it by whenever you play the any video let me show you how to do that actually uh, you can see here uh, is, there is a thanks button you can click by thanks uh, you can contribute to youtube thanks okay let me start so you're storing a master database is not a uh, state forward as you, uh, compared to user database restoration okay uh, there is a some trick which you need to know uh, how to restore so if i'm going to restore this command definitely it will go to fail let me execute you can see what it's saying an error you can read as uh, an error what is saying the server must be you know in a single user mode so restoring a database your sql server instance should be in a single user mode okay so taking a sql server instance in a single user mode we we have two approach uh, either configuration manager you can go to configuration manager and change the parameter or through the command prompt easily quickly you can do it so there is a command net stop your sql services name it will stop the your sql services you can see it's starting the services stop and there's a command with hyphen m okay put in hyphen uh, slash m it will you know restart the sql server instance uh, in a single user mode so as soon as hit the enter it will starting your instance uh, you know in a single user mode so now your instance is in a single user mode if you want to try and do the you know restore again what it's saying you can see the error again you will learn uh, new things actually what it's saying uh, you know logging failed the same logging which I, I was connected, it's showing that it's failed. Only the one administration, you know, administrator can connect at this time. So when your instance is a single user mode, only one user is allowed. Okay. So in that case, how to do that? So you need to close all the connection. Okay. Close all things. Close your SSMS as well. Okay. And again, you need to take your instance. Stop. Oh, sorry. Start and stop so let me stop first and again you need to start with hyphen or slash m so again your sql server instance is started right with a single user mode ssms you can open it and and once the ssms is open you can see what is happening actually So it will ask you to connect to object explorer definitely if you click continue and it again it will, you will try to restore it will fail because object explorer also considering as a single connection okay if you want to see i will uh, i will click okay continue so this is the one connection it's happening now again you want to try either restore or either through the command prompt uh, t square what it will say it will say the logging failure why because you already made a connection object explorer okay so only one spid is allowed okay that's the reason it's getting failed okay so again you need to do the same exercise you need to cross it but the question is then how to do the restoration with the tsql okay so again stop and again i will take the instance in a single user mode and again i will reopen the ssms okay why it's throwing error because the only thing is in a single user mode only one connection so it will ask you the object explorer connection you just simply cross it don't do any connection why it's happened i'm not sure okay and after that you need to click on a new query window so i'm going to connect new query window connect okay and then we'll type the command here okay and we'll see whether it's happening or not you can see the database is restored why because only this query window is connected at the, at this point to the sql server instance when it was asking to connect the object explorer i denied okay i didn't connect it so only one spid is allowed when the sql server instance is in a single user mode 
that's the reason I'm able to connect if you try to connect now okay object explorer it will throw the error it will not start later it will throw the error so for that you need to take it instance again uh, normal multi user mode so simply remove the slash m parameter now you can see uh, if you want to connect I'm able to connect the instance so the, your database master is restored it okay so hope you got the point how to restore the master database two three things only need to focus you take your instance in a single user mode and uh, you know after that just be focused if you want to use the tsql uh, please use tsql but but only one connection should allowed okay so well that's it for today in a next session what i will show you to you guys uh, this scenario is like where the sql server instance uh, services already running there is a scenario where the SQL Server services stopped state and then you need to rebuild the master database. How to do that? This is the interview question also. I will show you in the next video. But for today, that's it actually. And thanks for watching.